about lifestyles of the rich and famous, we're about to take you inside the homes and spaces of some of Hollywood's biggest stars. The folks at Architectural Digest magazine got rare access inside these homes. And here to give us a peek is the editor-in-chief, Amy Astley. Good morning to you, Amy. Hi, good morning. Hey, everybody's talking about some of these homes. <laughs> They're yes. beautiful. Tree. So first yes. of all, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Yes. Is it really their own island? Like, this I mean, is, is it? Yes, yes, Seriously? yes. This is a private island in the Bahamas. They bought it um, in 2003 and spent 10 years working on this structure. It's eight pavilions all open to the outside. It's very indoor, outdoor living. And it's sort of like the best fantasy of island life, I think oh is God. what they have. But there's no one on it except them. Wow. It's good to be Faith and Tim and their kids. You can see they really enjoy it. They really love being there. I think it's truly their happy place. And they really work to bring the indoors, outdoors, and vice versa. Yes, it's eight pavilions, totally open, um, the retractable doors, it's inside, it's all sort of bleached out in white, very wow. natural, a lot of wood accents. Uh. Um, Tim made the point to us that it blends in with the environment. Mm. I think it's Fantasy Island. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's they had, no, nobody lived there at all, yeah. it's just them. Wow, maybe they'll ever be in B.A., that'll be our only shot. <laughs> That's a dream. <laughs> to get into nice. it. It's good on That's TV. That's a dream. <laughs> yes. uh, moving to Long Island, Ellen Pompeo's yes. house on yes. the North Shore. Yes. This this is a beautiful house in the Hamptons, which Ellen uses at Thanksgiving with her family and then for a month or two in the summer. I think it's a great modern barn. Um, Ellen says that she um, wanted it to be completely family friendly. You can spill on it. The kids can have wet swimsuits. Mm. Again, it's very indoor outdoor. An interesting thing you can see here is that she went with this very dark paint yeah, inside, which gives it a cozy feeling and a sense of depth. She said she was concerned if it would close it up, but actually it makes a real depth and coziness to it and they do use it at Thanksgiving in the winter. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Another one that grabbed my attention, a workspace, Gwyneth Paltrow's workspace that yes. she uses for her website, Goop. Yes, yes. This is the Goop headquarters in Santa Monica. It used to be a warehouse and she enlisted Restoration Hardware to remake it with her. Wow. Um, and it's really a dreamy open space for the whole community that works at Goop. She pointed out to AD that um, they spend more time here than they do at home and she wanted everyone to feel at home and feel comfortable. It has an open kitchen and it has incredible lighting. Wow. Fun place to work. Yeah. Fun place to work. <laughs> um, out in LA, Laura Dern, Laura her house Dern. is pretty spectacular as well. Yes, yes. Laura Dern shared this um, with AD and it's on the website. It's Again, it's very indoor outdoor. She told us she had the dream of living in a tree house. Mm. So this was as close as she could get. It's an amazing kind of lush jungle-like environment and she really opened it up. She thought the house was too dark in the beginning so she added um, skylights and big windows and really opened it up to the outdoors which you can see, and it does have that treehouse feel to it. Does. It kind of fits right into yeah. the trees there. Yeah, it does. So yeah. cool. Let's it squeeze in one does. more. We have a sure. model and actress, Molly Sims. Molly Sims. I love this house. Molly said it had to be 100% kid-proof, and she startled her decorator by pouring green juice on the fabric samples to make sure <laughs> that it was. Again, it's very indoor-outdoor. Look at this view oh of the canyon, gosh. this pool, the fire Where is pit. This? Um, this is in Mandeville Canyon. Mm. Um, it's in LA, but it feels like they're in the countryside. Yeah. Wow. And totally indoor-outdoor. And the other thing is Molly uses her house to film all her YouTube videos and mm -hmm. as a backdrop for her own shoots for her business. Amy, so fun to see. Day. It's a dream. <laughs> Escapism. Absolutely. <laughs> the July issue of Architectural Digest hits newsstands nationwide next Tuesday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.